Hey, so welcome back to my channel. Um, I hope you're all doing okay. So today I thought I'd do a video about um, my career and teacher based, um, given that I've started a new job and things. So um, I thought I'd do a, a bit of a what's in my teacher bag type of thing. Um, I see a lot of videos like this on YouTube, however, they're always kind of Americans and they're very, always very American based. Um, so I thought it'd be quite interesting to do one from the UK as we have different things and things work differently and stuff like that. So uh, this is my bag. This is actually a changing bag that I was using for my daughter. Um, it's called a parent bag. It's from uh, Baby Mel London. Um, I got this in John Lewis about six months ago. Um, and it's just great because it's got so many different pockets and things in it. I was using a bag from Kath Kidston, which I love because I love the prints on it but um, there wasn't any pockets on the inside to put things in and I'm always forever losing things so I thought it was better to have somewhere I could keep things. So this is great, it's got um, top handles and it's got um, a body strap as well which can come off which is great. Um, in this front pocket I usually put my phone, obviously I can't go anywhere without it. Um, but I also have my lanyard which has two memory sticks on. I always have two just in case one's not working for whatever reason. Um, probably the main one that every teacher carries is a planning file. Now this planning file has been for the past six weeks or so and it's getting pretty full already so I think I'm gonna have to get another one to go with it. This file is from Palm World, cost me two pounds and um, it's great really sturdy and a beautiful design on it as well um, and I'm just gonna show you a little tips and tricks that I have in my file at the moment. Um, I always find that when you have file dividers um, they always break really easily um, along the sides here um, and if you've got other things in wallets, they don't stick out far enough for you to see them. So what I tend to do is I get a plastic wallet um, document holder and just I put a little slit wherever the tab is um, and then just put it into it and then they last a lot longer and you're able to write on here with a dry wipe as you can see and then that just comes straight off. Oh, it's not doing it today, but it does wipe off with a baby wipe. Um, so I'll show you a couple more of those now so that you can see what I mean. So here is a whole set of them. At the very back, I always keep a spare set in case I need to start a folder quickly. And they're all in wallets and I just cut, depending on where the tab is on the divider, uh, which I find really handy and they do last a lot longer as well. In my file, I also always have a like a document pocket at the back just to make sure there's somewhere to throw bits of paper that you don't want to lose or um, I've got like little um, things that we've been doing with the children and stuff in there as well. And I always have a little wallet um, as well for documents that currently has my pay slips and things in. I just like to keep them handy in case there's any reason I need to get them out in school. Um, and the other great thing I have is these. Oops. These are like giant post-it notes. I write everything on these. I work alongside another teacher so it's great to be able to leave notes for each other and these are a perfect size and just stick them onto the computer or whatever um, so that I know that she finds them. Um, at the moment, because I'm only classed as a supply teacher, I don't need to have as much as an actual class teacher would. Other things that are in my bag, um, I always carry a notepad for staff meeting notes and things like that. Um, I always have my pencil case. Um, I like using particular pens and things like that. Um, I'm very particular about that. I have my own scissors and everything in there, which is great. Uh, this is a beautiful one from Kath Kidston, which my pastor's wife bought me for my birthday last year. Um, I have a little um, Ziploc bag that has all my stickers and things in. Um, I get my stickers from Primary Teaching Services and my stamps as well. They're great value for money and I started off with a value pack for £5 which came with loads of stickers in. I'm still using them now as well as some of my own personal ones which are great. They have Mrs Hughes' Superstar on them which are fantastic. Um, in a separate Ziploc I have um, certificates and things which are cool. These Ziplocs were from Wilco, I think, for about 49 pence. Um, and these just have little um, praise pads in. So um, they work really well with children with additional needs as well. Um, you just write a little note to home and things like that. They're great. They were quite cheap on, again, primary teaching services. And then something that the children find really special, um, a little certificate, which is a special award. Um, they're fab. Um, I give them out usually on a Friday. One. Um, again, all from primary teaching services. And I just find it really handy to have them in little bags so that you can just grab them when you need them. Um, let's see. Oh, my favourite thing. So this is my life planner. This is the Erin Condren life planner. These are American, but I must admit, I always order them 
Um, I've been getting them for about four years now. I find them really, really handy. They're great. Um, and they do come really quickly. They are on the pricey side, but definitely worth it for what you get. This is the 18 month one. Um, and as you can see, <laughs> everything falling out of it. Um, oops. It's fantastic. I mean, I could do a whole other video on this because I love it so much. But um, I use, I'll just go to a random week. This is August, so it's no school information in this. Um, I use the hourly one so I can block off what I'm doing and things like that. And then there's um, a section here that you can do whatever you want with. I have to do usually to buy and to call in, in case there's any important things I need to get done. And each month is separated by a monthly spread um, that you can use however you like. I tend to put um, just a quick overview of what's happening per day. And then when you go on to, oh, and I use this corner here for birthdays because I don't like to take up all the space with people's birthdays. I just write them here. And then the to-dos to do in that month, in that particular month. And then I do my weekly to-dos on per each week. As you can see, some weeks are a bit blank. I think I was on holiday then. Um, and then I also use these um, post-it notes that you saw before to just do an overview of what my planning is for that week because there isn't loads of space. Now, you can get the Erin Condren Teacher Planner, which are amazing, but I'm saving to get one of them for when I have a full-time job instead. So I do love this. Um, and also my pen. This is a, um, a Kath Kidston one, um, the Dalmatian. Um, I absolutely love it, and I have put my name on. Sad, I know, but pens go missing, and I love pens. Um, the last thing in my actual bag is this. This was something my mum bought me uh, when I got my most recent job. This is great. Um, this is a little penny, which some of you might look at me and go, a penny, but um, it's great. So it's just got some pockets on the front of it. A lot of schools that use read write ink are tending to use a lot of these, but I had this before then. Um, and you can just slot whatever in there you need. Some schools use iPads. Um, you can fit little phones, cameras, iPads and things in there. Pens, stickers, whatever you might need. Quickly at hand, pair of scissors, anything. It can go in here. And then that just wraps around your waist and you can just get to everything really easily. I think this was from Etsy and I think it was about £13 including delivery which is great and um, it's all your cloth which means it right clean really easily or you could throw it in the washing machine I suppose. Now, one thing I always take to school with me is a travel mug. Most teachers have hundreds of them, I think I've got about six at the moment um, but this one is great. Um, this is a new one that I treated myself to with my last paycheck um, and this is the Tinkerbell one from the new Kath Kidston collection. I absolutely love it. But I always find this is great because you're never too worried then that children are going to knock a hot drink over and spill it over themselves or spill it everywhere. Um, and I always do tend to keep it out of reach, by the way. But just in case, um, this is a great one. And it's also great for if you're on playground duty and you're a bit cold, and especially this time of year, it's great to keep yourself warm. Um, so yeah, this is definitely my favourite. So I think I've probably rabbled on at you for long enough now. Um, any information that you might want, leave a comment down below and I'll be able to get back to you soon as. But thanks again for coming along and seeing what I've got to say and um, I hope you enjoyed it and I shall see you soon. Bye!